Hello folks, I'm back with another one. Um, I hope you're well, I hope you and your family are good. Um, in this video I want to touch on relapsing. Um, it's probably not going to be a long video, uh, probably one of the more shorter ones that I do. Um, but I have been reflecting on my own relapses recently and you know I've, I've come across people recently who have relapsed and I felt that I wanted to speak about it and not normalise it, that's not what I'm trying to get at, but also try and break down that it's not this big massive worst thing ever if you do relapse um, from whatever addiction you suffer from. Um, Obviously, I've only got experience in gambling addiction, and like I said, mostly, more or less, alcoholic. Um, so, but yeah, relapsing, I just think that there's a big, if you like, a negative straight away when you say the word relapse. I've relapsed, I've relapsed, and it's easy. To, from that word, when you say that, when you do, you know, use again, or when you do gamble again, or you drink again, or whatever addiction you do, um, when you do it again and you think, I've relapsed straight away, I think there's a, there's a better word for that. Whatever that is, it's up to you, but for me, I try to look at it as there's a goal at the end and that's to stop. I'll talk about it in terms of my gambling, but it was the same with drink. And eventually I will stop, but there's things that have to be right for me to stop. And these relapses, for want of a much better word, to me was Yes, very much painful, very much uh, demotivating, but it was also a stumble, a stumble in the road, and the road leads to my goal. And that's how I saw it, because relapse, people go back and drink, they go back and take drugs, they go back and gamble, they go back and have sex or whatever addiction you're into that you're struggling with, sorry. Um, but does it mean that because you've relapsed you have to then go into a cycle where I've done it once so I might as well have a good time while I'm there. I might as well blow my brains out while I'm there. I might as well get bladdered while I'm here, you know. Does it necessarily have to mean that? And I think when you start to break it down into the pattern of behaviour, and I speak about cycles quite a lot, the cycle from a relapse, generally for me, and I can only speak from my experience, would be I would relapse once, and until I saw the other side where I did see it as a stumbling block, you know, stumbling the road. I was still walking down that road to stop him, and my goal, which was to stop. The cycle that happened with me is, I would relapse and I would think, well, I've relapsed now, so the next few days until my next meeting, I might as well get bladded. I might as well get, you know, have a big bet. I might as well do my brains in. When all that does is create more negativity, more problems, more upset for your missus, your husband, your family, whoever. And in turn, that upset that you've caused will eventually upset you. And because you don't want to feel them emotions, you don't want to face what you've done, you don't want to accept what you've done, and you don't want to sort of, in your own way of thinking, cause that misery. 
you start to want to escape them emotions. And so what do you do? You relapse again. And if you see what I mean, the cycle is there. You relapse. You go in heavy because you've relapsed. In turn, you want to escape from all the consequences of that. And so you relapse again. What I want to put across is when you've relapsed, it doesn't have to be like that. When you've relapsed, however many days you've done, weeks, months, even years, what you can do instead is look at A, why you've relapsed, B, where could it have been avoided, but C, and for me the most important one, where did my God go down? And really, they're all the same question, but to me there's different parts of it. And when you ask yourself, where did my God go down? I don't mean you've purposely relapsed. I mean, sometimes it may be in gambling terms that you've gone to the pub with your friends and you've had to take some money with you that you wouldn't maybe not carry that amount of money but because she was going on a night out you've carried more money end of the night you've got drunk you've seen the bandit you've had a go things like that so what could have been done there you could have said right I want 10 pints or whatever it is you know 40 pound I'm, I'm not trying to be a teacher at school here, I'm just saying, and as, an, as, a, as an example. You know, I need £40, 15 quid for a taxi home, £10 something to eat, you know, £65, maybe take an extra £10 just in case. But maybe you've took, instead of doing that, you've took £120. And I don't like mentioning figures all the time, but this is just an example of where your guard may have gone down and not purposely but again we go back to where there's uh, time where there's money and where there's circumstances and really they all build up into why you've relapsed needs to be looked at and when you start to pick apart why you've relapsed I think my experience is that you start to see the patterns of behaviour in where you went wrong and what you can do instead of thinking I've relapsed and just blowing your brains out in whatever addiction you suffer from you can start to correct those patterns of behaviour you can even introduce ways of which you can break them patterns of behaviour that led you to a relapse with your friends with your family with your wife with your husband, someone you trust, doesn't have to be everyone, could be even your counsellor if you've got one. Um, and I think what I, that's what I'm trying to get at overall. Relapse, for me, it's a much sort of more negative impact on people's way of thinking, using that word. Um, because to me, it just gives you the green light in some respects to just blow your brains out and if you've relapsed one day what can also play a part is that just for talking sake say you've relapsed on the Sunday uh, you go to work your car breaks down it's a big fix suddenly you know something's gone wrong the stresses of that you wasn't going to take drugs, you wasn't going to drink on Monday, but the cars broke down, you're stressed out, you're suddenly brought, you know, you're bladdered, you, you, you've turned to drink, and then you're in a cycle. So, I just hope this helps people to look at the fact that relapse doesn't mean to say it's this big, bad thing, it, it, it means that you've now going to just go and ruin whatever progress you've made. It doesn't mean that you've relapsed 
this time and you can never do it, you can never stop because you can't analyse your behaviours in what built up to you relapsing, analyse where you could have sort of kept your barriers high against whatever addiction you're suffering from and work on yourself and give yourself credit that you've come a day, an hour, a week, a month because everyone, you know, I always say it, everyone's recovery is different in the respect that while one month might not belong to someone, um, for another person that could feel like a year's recovery from addiction and whatever amount of time you've done before you do relapse, you still did it. I do want to stress this video is not to sort of me encouraging people to think it's fine. You know, I've watched a video and he's saying relapses are fine. It's not that. It's not that. It's not normalising it in any way. I'm saying if you do relapse, it doesn't have to be this big bad I'm going to be forever stuck in this addiction. I'm living proof of it. I relapsed every week at Gamblers Anonymous sometimes. I went months where they would spend literally half of the meeting on speaking to me and then I would go the next week and I would just, well, I'd, I'd just be sat there in a, in a daze because all week I'd blown my brains out because I'd relapsed and of course I relapsed and I relapsed because I was in the cycle. I wasn't analysing my behaviours, I wasn't thinking what patterns of behaviour built up to me relapsing and I lost hope because that's what relapse and the word relapse does. It makes you think that I've relapsed and I can't do it. I'll never stop. You can. I'm living proof. I hope this helps just one person. If it has, leave me a comment. If you can relate, leave me a comment. I'm always interested to hear your thoughts and your experiences. Um, if you want to come on and tell your story, get in touch. The link's in the description below to my socials um, and the ways in which you can get in touch. And I look forward to hearing from you. Um, if you can help these videos, as I always say, reach as many people as they can. Um, all in the hope of helping even just one person. Please leave us a like, like I said, leave us a comment. I appreciate all your, your views and all your um, time that you've spent watching this and I hope it has helped you. But yeah, I will see you on the next one folks. I hope you're well and uh, stay safe. Cheers.